real time. Like, if if TC loses by two touchdowns plus, what would that have done? Good to morning, guys. Alabama's chances. Good to see you back in the chat. Uh, Oops, turned radio off. From the on YouTube's gonna get me for that. <laughs> Play the music. Yeah, you know, get the headphones right. Get busy for the day. Lock up the truck. I don't always use cones. I do have them in residential uh, streets here where it's uh, not much traffic. Sometimes I put it out, sometimes I don't. My small yards, I'm in and out in 20 minutes or less. There's the car. See? Uh, I never hit it. You guys ever hit that point, that flip? I can't do it. I'm too old to keep walking back and forth, keep trying. <laughs> All right, on our right, 36 inch, we'll get busy. All right, guys, we'll do a little voiceover, so we'll... Uh, I'll talk over the mower. This uh, front yard, well, actually in the backyard, you can see the weeds just pop up. There's not much grass here. Uh, in the back, there's a lot more grass. And when I say grass, it's just a mixture. It's a salad bar. We all have them. A little bit of crabgrass, um, a little bit of bahia. I'm showing a few signs of St. Augustine, but not a whole lot, but mostly just, just weeds. I'm just kind of just cutting off the, you know, the tops of it. Not much here, around here. She actually is a um, traveling nurse, so she had requested my services back some time ago. I haven't filmed this property in a, in a while. Sorry, it makes me a little dizzy here when I have it on my... Uh, on my chest by the way the uh, GoPro is actually on my chest you can see my head left and right sometimes but as my chest moves the GoPro is going to move so but when you're in restricted areas like this sometimes you just got to spin around keep on going around till you get everything but um, this is uh, she had called me and uh, wanted my service. She actually has been borrowing a lawnmower. It got too much for her and she wasn't always here and in her traveling sometimes she was gone for you know weeks on end and of course grass would get out of hand so she hired the service. She's the only one, uh, she called me as the only one and uh, we're charging this one at $135 um, each month. And that's just the basic services where we trim, edge, and blow. That's all she wanted. Uh, didn't want anything else trimmed. And you can see why. This is all those the gates pretty big, won't open up all the way, but that's a narrow path here. Um, and that's uh, liquid propane gas. I'm sure you guys got them too. And this is why I use a 36. I've, uh, before I started my career, I was really entertaining at 32. The difficulty with with Wright at a time, and that's, you know, I chose my dealer because they had Wright, and, you know, they're only, um, you know, five, six miles away from me. So they had uh, Xmark and Wright, and I liked the Wright products. But Wright made a 32. This is a 36. Their 32 was a fixed deck, which means if I wanted to change the blade height, uh, I'd actually had to put spacers in their wheels. And and although there's not a whole lot of grass that I, I adjust too much, there's a few of them. 
Uh, basically, most of the grass here is cut at three inches. But St. Augustine, if I, and I do have a couple of yards uh, that, that really need it at four to four and a half inches, the mower here cut will, will cut as high as five inches, as low as one. So I didn't want to go up there and kind of um, prop up the, um, the mower deck on one side and put spacers in there and back and forth. So I bought the 36, and uh, I'm quite happy I did do that decision. There were some small gates early on, and I had an X Mark push mower. I didn't, it was a commercial 30. I really didn't like that mower. That was really heavy, hard to turn. Uh, yes, it's a wide base, but you know, your typical pivot as you, you know, lift up the front end and pivot around there wasn't as easy as your 22 inch deck. So I did have a uh, X Mark 30, so, and I did have a couple of jobs where the gates were. You know, 32 inches and smaller, um, and I quickly decided that okay, that's not for me in my my business. I'll turn down that business. I don't want to push mow anymore. So I did sell the uh, the X Marks 30. I think it probably had maybe four hours on it. Uh, I got a good good you know used rate for it, so not a. I bought it new, and I of course sold it with four hours on it. Uh, X marks that actually doesn't the push mowers they don't show any hours on it but I'm just going based on uh, remembering how many yards I actually did do it so it wasn't very many and uh, so it actually looked fairly new so I think I paid uh, 1400 sold it for 11 so not too bad yeah I took a little bit of a loss it's okay and a little squeezy ball there from a dog sometimes you run these things over you don't see them that's why they need to make them orange or, or uh, uh, a bright color where it's not matching the grass color because you can't always see these things. But anyway, you see the backyard. It's actually much bigger than the front yard, as most yards are. Uh, it doesn't take very long to do. And so, as you can see, it's already well maintained. I'm out here every single week in the summer and by weekly in the winter. But there's a lot more grass here. When I say grass, again, it's, it's a mostly weeds, but... Um, and you can see sometimes when uh, it, it'll die out and come back again. You know, weeds aren't very strong. They're pretty weak. Regular maintenance also helps get rid of those weeds. The weeds love it really long. But no, she's, uh, she's enjoyed the services there. But uh, this X, uh, X mark, um, there's no way I was going to push, push mow anymore. I'm getting too old for that. There's too much business out there that I can pick and choose. And that's, you know, that's what I did. Yeah, but I'm glad I made the, the decision to go with right in a 36. And um, it helps with my small yards. Again, you know, you're seeing this in real time. So it's not going to take very long um, at all to, uh, to finish this. So I'll sit back a little bit, let you uh, hear the noise. All the noise of the, the summer season is upon us. Well, it's actually, what, June 20th that's going to be. Is the summer season, so we'll put this out in uh, mowing this in late May. No, oh, yeah, see, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Peace.